It just, you know, it's been really stressful. <sighs> you know, I'm sort of sort of breath, you know, getting up here and doing this. Um, and, you know, there's the crisis in Ukraine, there's the pandemic still with us, there's, you know, the coming elections. So I'm just, I'm really, I've got a lot that really worries me. And so one of the ways that I've been able to cope, which I'd like to share with you, is to adopt the speech patterns and singular perspective of the German director, Werner Herzog. <laughs> somehow hearing his voice narrating documentaries such as Grizzly Man, lo and behold, lifts my spirit from the mundane to a meaningful, purposeful life. I observe tasks such as tying shoes, brushing teeth, not as mere chores, but the actions of a human being preparing to encounter a world gone mad. I am no longer floating in a stream of feces with no capability to redirect my course, but rising above with clear resolve to comprehend insanity. I see the purchase of goods and services, also known as shopping, <laughs> trading of labor for remunerative, remunerative compensation, mm -hmm. also known as work, <laughs> as idiotic and meaningless. <laughs> the first of many layers we can perceive. Not an ant in an anthill, I am a sentient being, aware of my surroundings. I use language to express aggravation with the number one train which is being held in the station for no apparent reason. <laughs> Now for you, my audience, my colleagues in this journey, I invite you too to emulate this perspective. Could it be as if I have spiked your beverages <laughs> and you too see the world through special glasses as if you're on ketamine? <laughs> With this in mind, my fears of whether the audience will remain seated during the show the panic over the next pandemic, which will surely take over the current pandemic. <laughs> Terror at the Botox-infested Russian despot with the Napoleon complex attempting to invade all of Europe. These are reduced to a child's whimper in the night when thrown in relief against our vast universe. What is a few hours of terror and panic when compared with 200,000 years of homo sapiens hapless, thrashing, and desperate survival on this planet, we must remember our Earth is but a minuscule biological curly cue in the vast expanse of possible life forms in a space time continuum of 14 billion light years. Hence, I conclude whatever. <laughs> now, how long can I continue this charade? Could I be sued by Werner Herzog himself? These are questions we can never answer. But I'd like to talk to some of you tonight, perhaps. Could you tell me what is your reason for choosing a seat in the very front of this <laughs> Because I felt I would be very close to the comedy. You think you too, <laughs> That is very funny of her to do that. And tell me, you too, do you feel sad having spent your evening in an establishment called The Pit? Not yet. We'll be sure of that. We'll be sure of that. Don't worry, you'll be sorry you came. By the way, what I was doing, comedians call crowd work. <laughs> I call it a waste of time. 